Analyzing your data. From your golfer homepage, select Analyze. There are two ways to select rounds to be analyzed. The pick specific rounds on the top. It allows you to check the rounds desired and then simply analyze them. The second way to analyze rounds is using the filters. This screen offers eight filtering options. You can use any or all of them to select the rounds that you wish to analyze. I like to run a best worst analysis using the scoring filters, the less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. This reveals the major differences in your game when you're at your best and at your worst. One can also see what your game looks like when you play exactly to your handicap by selecting the 10 best of your most recent 20 scores. The point being that your analysis options are extremely flexible and almost boundless. When you have a good number of rounds in the system, experiment with these filters. You can really learn a great deal. Now let's analyze some rounds and walk through what the analysis means and how it is designed to help our users understand exactly what they need to do to reach their improvement goals. Here I have selected with the filters my most recent 10 rounds. Obviously a fairly good snapshot of my performance. The first screen provides in words and visually the answer. This is what I promised when I set out to create this program. I did not want to simply regurgitate numbers and percentages as I had seen in all the stat programs before. I wanted to clearly identify that part of the game that if improved to the level of one's target handicap would save the most strokes to par on average each round. So looking at this screen, my answer is the long game. You can see here my current handicap is 3. My long game is that of a 6 and it is highlighted because the strokes gained analysis is telling me that that is where I could save the most strokes to scratch or to par. My chipping pitching game is a 4, my sand game is a 0, and my putting game is a 1. I often get the questions, what do you mean handicap? Well, it's not as dumb a question as I originally thought. My putting handicap at a 1 is telling me that if putting were all there were in the game of golf, I would be a 1 handicap instead of the 3 that I am. Okay, so my number one priority is my long game. Let's see what, what about my long game needs to be improved. I scroll down and I notice that my long game handicaps, there's some volatility in these ten, 10 rounds that end up averaging a 6. I also notice that in 7 of the 10 rounds I am worse than my 3 handicap and only better or equal to it in 3 rounds and I'm as bad as a 15 and an 11 in a couple of rounds. Why is that? Let's scroll down to the greens in regulation. The bottom line in are my greens in regulation per round against my target. My target for greens in regulation is 11.1 .1 greens per round. My average is 10.9. Not bad. In fact, in five of these 10 rounds, I'm actually better than my target. So it's pretty clear that greens in regulation is not my problem. Then what is it? It must be driving. So I scroll up and click on the driving tab. Here I see that my handicap is a 5.2 in driving. Okay, that's higher than my three. Is it fairways hit? I'm averaging 9.1. My target is 8.5. It's clearly not that I'm not hitting enough fairways, so it must be the severity of my misses. If I scroll down my strokes gained per round versus scratch, I notice that I am consistently losing shots to the scratch player. Only two of these rounds was my strokes gained number a positive, and my average is I'm losing more than a shot to scratch every round in my driving. Why is that? Scroll down a little lower, and I look at my fairway missed results. These are the results of every fairway that I did not hit. And so as you see in the key on the bottom, there's green is good lie, yellow is poor lie. Then we get into the errors, the no shot error, the penalty error, and the lost ball and out of bounds. I see a lot of these red and black and gray dots up here. And if we look at my average, I average 0.3 lost or out of bounds drives per round my target would have been 0.1. So three times as many serious mistakes. We look at the penalty results. I average 0.3 per round. My target is 0.2. Okay, 50% more mistakes on the penalty side. In the no shot, 
I average 0.6, my target would be 0.9, so that's not the problem. My area of problems is in the big mistakes off the tee, the lost ball and out of bounds. So that's what I'm going to work on. Now I won't go through the rest of the facets, but the process is the same. First, we will identify your playing level. The answer will be your relative handicap. This will then be supported by the strokes gain number, which is used to determine your relative handicap, and your performance data in detail will be compared directly to that of your target handicap. We'll tell you exactly why. The process works. Spend your time and energy on your greatest weakness and you will accelerate your improvement.